Hello everybody, this is Autumn Ivy. Um, I was actually taking a second to try to give you guys an update. I know I've been kind of on like a weird mini hiatus almost, so I do sincerely apologize for that. Um, there is a reason. I'm in the middle of a divorce and it's been particularly difficult. So um, I'm, this is one of those things where your personal life starts to affect things that you do outside. And unfortunately, I have let that happen over the past several weeks. Um, while this has all been going on, uh, I've slipped. I haven't updated videos for like a month because everything is kind of built up. Uh, stress level's been super high. I haven't recorded like I'm supposed to. I haven't, you know, done Twitch streams like I'm supposed to. And most importantly, I haven't taken care of you guys as my friends. And I'm really, really sorry about that because you don't deserve that from me. You deserve so much better from, from me. And I'm sorry that I haven't been here to provide that. On the same hand, those of you that have messaged me to check on me and to see how things are going, I am really, really sorry that um, I wasn't particularly honest because I haven't been okay. But it's been one of those things where I can't even really bring myself to talk about it. And I know that there are some of you that have been through divorce and have been through bad relationships or just been through shitty situations. And I know you guys can, can kind of understand. And there are several people who are in very similar situations that can relate that have tried to talk to me. And I haven't been there. And I'm really sorry. I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to really do anything. Um, I gained a bunch of weight over the past couple weeks because I've been eating out. Uh, a lot because I've been too lazy to make food and by lazy I mean I just don't want to do anything um, you know if it weren't for some of the really good friends that I had I would have couch potatoed and I know there's a lot of people like oh well boohoo you know it's a relationship you'll get over it well not really um, I don't think a lot of people realize just how deeply uh, something like that can impact you because it is a major situation and you know, to somebody else that may be like, yeah, okay, cry about it, get over it, what the fuck ever. But mm, it's not like that for everybody. Uh, not everybody can pick up the pieces after, you know, someone else leaves it in shambles or vice versa. And, you know, just go about their business like normal. It's not that simple. Uh, and I'm, I'm really sorry that I had a hard time picking up the pieces. Um, this past weekend primarily yesterday, which was Sunday, I sat down and I was like, you know, I, I can't do this to myself anymore and I'm not going to. So today I restarted my diet. I started going back to the gym again today after having not gone for several, several weeks. And that by the way, has been freaking miserable, but I'm back on track and I am making a promise to myself and a promise to you guys that I will be better. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to start doing videos. Uh, like I, promised you I would start doing and actually follow through and doing it. My Twitch streams will be moved. I'm going to start doing Wednesday nights and Friday nights at 8 p.m. Uh, if you guys have a preference, let me know. But for now, that is what it's going to be is Wednesday nights and Friday nights. That way I can try to accommodate to, you know, a lot of my friends and just make sure that I, I have time to do it. Saturdays, unfortunately, are difficult for me to complete. So that will be changing. So I will do Friday or Wednesdays and Fridays. Aside from the Twitch streams, I know I also promised to start doing narration on my separate channel, which is The Bone Collector. I have not done that either. I'm going to start doing that. Period. End of story. It's something that I've been wanting to do that I just have not. Uh, so if you guys have poems you'd like me to read, stories, you know, personal written stuff, I, I'm happy to read that for you. Wednesdays, which are hump days, uh, I am going to go ahead and do the sensual re sensually reading boring instruction videos. Uh, so send me some of the most boring things that you can manage to find. Um, I'm also going to try to, uh, do the videos in relation to my, my streams. So my gameplays. So those of you that don't catch my Twitch, uh, you will have gaming videos to watch as well. So I've got updates. I've got the gaming videos and also I will be doing the narration videos on my separate channel. So you'll see those shortly. Other than that, my biggest thing I wanted to, to say is that those of you that are going through something similar, my friends, you know, hell, strangers, like if you guys are just tuning into the channel, I want you to know that yes, it sucks. And yes, it's fucking horrible. 
and you dwell on it and you can't stop yourself from snowballing because you think about it. And sure, you know, you've got friends that tell you, hey, you know, you're going to be okay. It's just perfectly fine. And it's not. And it's okay that it's not. It's okay that you're not okay. It's okay that it sucks. And it's okay that you feel like you're consistently being rickrolled through the entire duration of what little bit of self-love that you've got. And the one thing that I want in return for my promise to be consistent and for my promise to myself is for you guys to make me a promise. And I'm going to start working out. I'm going to start eating better. And I'm going to succeed in the next six months to reach a goal that I have set for myself, which includes for videos too. And in six months, when I make an update video, as I'm promising to do now, and I will follow through on that, I want you guys to join me. My request to you not a demand. It's not me telling you you have to do something. I am requesting that if you're having a hard time and it's been difficult and you just can't anymore, because I know over the past several weeks while I wasn't working out and while I wasn't eating healthier, I just felt bad. Everything felt bad. Um, you know, there's some of you that are like, oh, well, you don't need to lose weight. You don't need to do this. It's not about that. It's about feeling better. Like you physically feel better. Uh, you start to realize mood changes. You start to notice little things. And that's the biggest thing is I want you guys, much like myself, I promise you that I will be more positive. I promise that I'm going to try to bring that to the table. And if you guys need something or if you want help or, you know, if you just have to send an email, I may not be able to get back to you right away. But I will be there for you. I will respond when I can and I will try to make it a point to help you, help me, help yourself, whatever it is. Just talk to me. I'm, I'm here for you. And that is my promise to you is I will be there for you when you need me. And in return, join me on this journey. Like you are better than all of this other bullshit going on. You are capable of so much better than what you believe you're capable of. And I know that you can reach that goal if you set it for yourself. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's going to take work. And you know what? Fuck. It's a hard fucking journey, but it is so much better to at least start somewhere especially when you're having a hard time or especially when, you know, your wife or whatever left you or your husband or, you know, if you, even if the shoe's on the other foot and you decided you just couldn't do it anymore, whatever it may be, understand that you're not alone and that there are people who are willing to side with you, but you got to start somewhere. Don't let yourself get dragged down because of the situation. Better yourself. Use it as a springboard. Do something important. Whether it's important to you or it's important in your job or your fitness or your health or your animals, your fur babies, your actual kids, whatever it is, remember that you have a purpose and do it for you. Progress. Build. Do something constructive. All I ask is that you guys do this with me. I'm going to start sending updates. I'm going to do pictures. I'm going to post positive things. And all the update videos that I do, I'm, I'm going to talk about how I feel. I'm going to talk about how I don't feel good about myself or how this happened this week and it made me feel really shitty. But in return, for every time somebody says, hey, how are you doing? And my response is, you know, I don't feel good today or I, I'm not okay. I'm going to say something positive about my day. And if you guys could just make one little change and do that with me, that's somewhere to start. So work out with me. Walk your dog. Play with your kids eat healthier, even if it's just a carrot or two a day, something, but do this with me. That's all I ask. And I think that maybe if you realize that we're all in this together, that that might make some changes too for you and for all of us. Because if we manage to realize that, yeah, things are bad, but they can be better, maybe it wouldn't be so bad at all, especially when you're not alone. Um, that being said, that is my promise, and I hope you guys join me. So my email links are everywhere. Send me a tweet. Message me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is that you saw this on. I want you guys to remember that you are special and you are worthwhile, and you are very much loved. So I'm going to go ahead and quit talking your ear off, but watch for those update videos. I'm going to make sure that I start the gaming videos and everything next week because I don't have time to do them this week. But I will be streaming on Wednesday, on, on Wednesday and Friday. And I will also be doing some narration videos over the next couple of days. So keep your eyes out for those. But 
I love you guys very much. You are all so very special to me, and I cannot thank you enough for being there for me during this time and during this shit storm that has been my life over the past several uh, several weeks to month or so. And I love you, so don't do anything I wouldn't do. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Thanks. <laughs>